Welcome back. Welcome home. It is finally that time to talk some positivity on Fallout and on Bethesda. So I'm going to be referencing an article from Variety. It will be linked down below. Uh, they seem to have had a direct interview with Todd Howard. Fallout 76 is making headlines again. We've all heard the news about the Fallout TV show achieving 65 million viewers in its first 16 days. And I don't want to downplay that. That is huge. But it's been covered to death. We finally got to look at some new numbers though. Fallout 76 was setting around 17 million total players since its launch. Since December, that has jumped all the way up to 20 million. It's gained an additional 3 million total players since then, primarily after the release of the Fallout TV show. The total daily player count across the entire franchise has seen an increase of 600%, all the way up to 5 million players consecutively on a daily basis across the fallout franchise like can we just good job bethesda good job like oh my god that fallout tv show is really coming in to save the day i'm here for it completely so in the article todd howard goes on to say depending on the fallout game you're looking at a four to six time increase in daily players which is beyond anything i've ever seen in my 30 years of doing this having an event that bridges that many people into games that you have and who have never played your games before that's a big thing so he also discusses the next season of the fallout tv show how it's set to follow the main characters of the first season and honestly i'm cool with that i'd rather them do that i want to see what they do in maximus because to be honest with you guys like i wasn't too fond of the way they led his character development in the first season he was really such a mixed bag like he was a loose cannon you never know what to expect from him sometimes it seems like he's fully self-centered and then other times it seems like he's out like potentially trying to help somebody better someone else's life but then he's still got some type of selfish gain at the end of it but he's also very manipulative and he's a compulsive liar from what i've gathered i want to see him grow a little bit more i want to see what they do with the brotherhood the NCR, like I'm, I'm hyped for season two. I'm ready for this. I'm glad that they're sticking with the main characters of season one as well. And honestly, it's just good to get on here, even if just for a moment, talking about some more numbers. Like it's cool to talk some positivity on Fallout again. If y'all have anything to say about this, you know what to do in the comments. Like, share, sub. I'm gonna catch y'all soon. Peace.